In this lesson, we are going to check few programs based on pattern programming. This is our 34th program in the 101 program series. And the expected out in this program is something like this. So user will be entering a number n and we are going to print n stars on n number of rows. So suppose user has entered 6 as input, then on 6 rows, 6 stars will be printed. So this is the expected output. So let us see how we can solve this problem. In the program, I'm asking user to enter number n. I have initialized variable n. i and n are two variables which I'm going to use to represent rows and columns for my console screen. So this is a sample console screen. This I'm just using to illustrate you this better. So user's input I am storing into variable n and then this is my first for loop. So the first for loop I'm using for iterating rows and the next for loop is for iterating columns. So now let us see how compiler will be executing these instructions. So initially I am initializing i equal to 1. Let us assume that user has entered n as 6. So 1 is less than or equal to 6 which is a true condition. So the controller will enter inside the loop and inside the loop my first statement is for another for loop where I am initializing j equal to 1 and again j is less than or equal to 6 which is a true condition. So controller will go inside the second loop and it will print my first star at this location then j will be incremented to 2 again the condition will be checked and because 2 is less than or equal to 6 that is true condition a second star will be printed why because j has initialized notice these are values of j and these are values of i so the condition will become only false when j will be 7 so once j becomes 7 so condition to be checked will be 7 less than or equal to 6 which is a false condition so till this point program has printed 6 stars and cursor is at this location and once my condition becomes false it will come out of this for loop and then we are instructing for a new line character so cursor will move on to the next row and then as this was my last statement of this for loop then i will be incremented it will become 2 so this condition will be true and then this whole block will be repeated so for the second row these stars will be printed again and then the cursor will come on to the next row at this location so this process will be continued while i and n do not become greater than 6 so my final output will be something like this and cursor will be at this location so once the main for loop is also terminated program will also get terminated 